Every team's biggest weakness and moves to make now, this is from the Bleacher Report. For the Browns, they have the biggest weakness as quarterback. Nobody would argue that. Wide receiver number two, I agree with that. Left tackle, we'll see. Dewan Jones, if he can develop, that might help. Linebacker, interior defense, move to make now, manufacture some touches for Jamari Thrash. Um, has worked his way onto the field for some snaps, hasn't really been involved in the offense. Um, Elijah Moore is a free agent. Browns will need a third receiver to step up. Thrash could be that guy. I would argue that they need a number one receiver. Um, yes. Uh, could be, could it be Jerry Judy? Maybe, but I, I you need a playmaker. I, David Njoku, I guess right now, would be if I'm a defensive guy and I'm looking at him like, man, that guy scares me with the ball in his hand. Other than that, there isn't anybody. Yeah, and we're seeing the the uh, the development of Cedric Tillman before our very eyes, and we don't know what his ceiling is going to be, but he's looking like a promising player. But as we talked about earlier, he's more than likely a two, which is also what Judy kind of is. And you can win. If you look at the Green Bay Packers right now, they have a whole wide receiver room full of twos, and they're pretty dangerous, but that's you know it's four or five guys deep. The Browns don't have that luxury. If you can go get a play ma- playmaker like McMillan out in Arizona, I think would be a phenomenal addition in the draft if you end up with one of them high picks. Uh, but there's no, the, the drafts, there's never a bad year to draft a wide receiver. Let's put it that way. And if you want to take, especially take a swing in the first or second round, those are those those are usually phenomenal athletes. And they just their, their development at an early age because of these seven on seven passing camps, they come in the league more ready than most positions to contribute at a high level. Um, but when you look at that list they just showed, you can't argue with number one quarterback. Yes, you have to figure that out. And it doesn't even have to be your long-term option, but you have to find a viable option now. You, you can't wait. That's that's priority one. A wide receiver. Left tackle could figure itself out. That would be a tremendous help. I would argue linebacker is not that big of a worry for me right now. Yep. I, I, with the development of Diabate, you have Hicks under contract. JOK, which I'm not even worried about when he comes back. I seem to get him completely healthy. When he's fully healthy, he is one of the very best linebackers in the league, so I'm not really worried there. And I've seen enough out of Michael Hall these last few games that it's I'm very intrigued what this interior defensive line is going to look like when he gets to be a full-time starter next to a Dalvin Tomlinson. So it's not as many needs as it feels like it is, but there are some definite things they need to come away with, and a playmaker and a quarterback are chief among those. Yeah, the problem is they're all on the same side of the ball, and it's the offensive side of the ball. So it's it's blocking, it's quarterback play, and it's playmakers. So that's why it seems like a pretty tall mountain. Uh,